Michelle Miller has no criminal record, so a voicemail threatening an arrest was a startling start to her morning. So during that time, I, I was emotional a little bit because I didn't know, I thought, what? And he told me I couldn't hang up the phone, couldn't call anybody, that this civil process, if I agreed to go through it with him, I could avoid being arrested. Keeping Michelle on the phone is an important step in this scam, as scammers don't want you to call anyone else or have time to process what is happening. Michelle says at least two men were organized, well-spoken, and playing almost good cop and bad cop roles to manipulate her. He was a little bit ni nicer, not as gruff as the other one. And he said, I see you have no criminal record, you're not a criminal, but we need to take care of this matter. She was told to transfer the money with a Coinstar machine in a Kroger. That is when Michelle started to hesitate and process what was happening. And I just told him, I said, look, I'm not feeling well. I'm, I'm not going to do this. I'm going home. And he goes, well, do you want me to call the EMTs for you? I said, sure, call them. At that point, I was getting pretty mad. And he said, um, well, we're going to arrest you. We're coming out to get you. I said, okay, go ahead. Those with the St. Joseph County Police Department tell me always double check before releasing any personal information. When people are calling you, always question, uh, is it really the right person? As I said, they can spoof phone numbers and it looks like that person. Um, and if you got any doubt, you know, don't give your bank account, don't give your social security number. I'm John Paul. Thanks for watching. Here's another video for you to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.